this is like take seven or six or whatever. Today, we're gonna do LED matrix project, Alien Invader animation. So I got this guy down on my sketch. Let's go into the sketch. And this is the, this is me importing the library. Okay, and I'll put a link below. Next, I initialize the pins, looking good. And then I initialize the delay time between the frames of the animation, which is like 0.5 seconds. Nice. Next, we have the arrays responsible for the animation, the frames. Um, they all hold hexadecimal data, which I'll show how I obtained this later on. Then I create a, a variable named LC of type LED control. Um, these are all the uh, digital pin numbers, which you can, ref you, can, you can reference back later here. And here it's zero because I only have one LED uh, pin attached, LED matrix attached. So I start from uh, zero because that's how you count in coding. Then you go into setup, you turn on the LED matrix, you set the intensity to eight, which is medium, 15 for the highest, zero for the lowest, and then you clear the display before you can send any data. So this is a loop. Uh, it prints the first array, and then it goes into a delay, and then it prints the other array, and then it goes into another delay. And then this is basically uh, me specifying a the function print byte, which contains a for loop that runs eight times, and within each loop, it will light up the LED in terms of rows. And right here is just a matrix indexing, which indexes every element in the array. Okay, so I'll just upload this real quick and I'll show you guys what I have so far. And this is what I have, okay? So now we're gonna just put another animation. Let's do the, let's go, let's do the squid. So, This is a software that I have, okay, and it, it basically converts tiles into the code you want. So let's do the squid. So I'm just gonna fill in the tiles that I want. Okay, looks good. I don't want that. Boop, 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 boop. Yep. Am I messing this up? Nope, I think it looks bad there it is okay and then i'm gonna go down here and go uh, here 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 go here go here go here and go here yeah that looks good i'm gonna generate okay and then I, I have the option of choosing hexadecimal or binary let's do uh hexadecimal let's call this squid because it looks like a squid i don't know and then me pasting the hexadecimal elements and then let's do a second frame. I call it squid two. Okay. And it's basically gonna like do this. Yep, I think that should be right. Let me just check real quick. Yep, and then you can generate. Let's do binary this time. So when we do binary Okay, you gotta do, you gotta put a letter B in front. Oops. Put a letter B in front of every element of the array. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my closing brackets. I'm gonna put a comma to separate them. Okay, and then as I go down here, I'll do print byte squid gonna jump into a delay and then I'm gonna just copy and paste and do a second frame which is good too okay let's verify there is an error because I forgot my semicolon looks good and now we just upload There you go. So that's, that's basically it. It's nothing too fancy, but there's a lot that you can do with this. So yeah, go make something.